Hi, this is Preeti from Analytics India magazine. In the last video, we discussed what is data science and what do data analysts actually do. And in this video, we will be talking about who can be a data scientist. Can someone from a non-technical background also be one? The answer is yes, but is it going to be that easy? Let's look at all the factors involved. The first factor is affinity towards mathematics and statistics. You need to ask yourself if you are passionate about these subjects. This is not a question of skill. To begin with, you do not need to be proficient in the subject, but more about are you willing to work and practice to get there? Coming to our second factor, inclination towards programming and coding. Data science requires proficiency in tools like SQL, Hadoop and Python. Even if you have never done coding or programming before, it is a skill which can be developed. But again, it would require time and resources to do so. Coming to the third factor, business acumen. As I've already mentioned before, data science is an art of problem solving. While proficiency in programming software and maths and statistics will help you develop the depth of knowledge required, it is not enough. Keen awareness of the industry you are working in and the business problems your company is trying to solve is just as important. Hence, even if you are a computer science graduate with experience in programming and a good grasp of the technical subjects, you will still need to develop problem solving skills, ask the right questions, arrive at the solution using the most efficient method which would require practice and solving a lot of case studies. Which brings us to our fourth factor, time. Do you have enough time to devote for new learning? While there are plenty of training options for you to learn your analytical skills and grow your career, but you have to be open to set aside a dedicated time for learning. Data science is essentially a combination of three skills. Statistics and maths, coding and database knowledge, and business acumen. Making a good start can make a lot of difference in this field. One has to give at least 6 to 12 months time for dedicated learning of data analysis and statistics and get a top view on big data. Our research indicates that learning data science is a big commitment and one needs to put in at least 10 hours a week for a couple of months to get the right results. And if you're a non-technical person, then it would require more time. Coming to the last factor, at what point in your career are you? Are you a graduate or a beginner with zero to five years of experience? Are you in the mid stage with five to 10 years of experience? Or are you a manager with more than 10 years of experience? For beginners, exposure and experience in a data science role will help develop a better understanding of solving business problems. It is important to look for internships and jobs which can enhance your analytical skills. If you're a mid-stage employee with five to 10 years of experience, at this stage, you are already working in a particular industry and chances of finding a job outside the domain may be slim. It would be better to transition to an analytical role within your company. Now, if you're a manager or a practitioner with more than 10 years of experience, chances are that you're already working as a project manager or a team leader and looking for ways to add to your skill set. There are plenty of executive programs to get you started. Good domain knowledge coupled with knowledge of R, Python and SAS is a must. Now that we've covered who can be a data scientist, in the next video we will cover how to be a data scientist. So stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe to Analytics India magazine and follow this segment for more videos on data science as a career. Bye.